Hi everyone, welcome to the Practical Gardener. In my previous garden tour, I had taken you around a tour of my garden outside the living room. And uh, this time I'm going to take give you a tour of the garden outside my master bedroom. Okay, so let's start from this corner here. This corner is where I have my Calatheas or the Gokpushas as well as some other sensitive plants. So I have the Anthurium down here and I have uh, my Gopusha Zebrina here. Uh, there's a Cora and uh, some more plants here. There's a Medallion and of course I'm uh, shooting this video late in the night. That's why you can see as with uh, all prayer plants they are facing upwards. Okay, So that's your Calatia Gopusha section. On the top I have some assorted uh, cactus and succulents there. Moving to this section here, this is where I have my Nepenthes or the pitcher plants. In summer I've got them in because uh, they don't do too well in direct sunlight. Uh, they have lost most of their pictures or the pictures are drying but new pictures are coming their way. I have about three or four of them here. This one here is the Stepelia or the carrion flower plant and I have a few more of those. So there's one hanging there. There's one there in the basket um, and then you have the Stepelia Gigante here uh, as well. So this section here has the uh, some of my hanging baskets. Most of them are Portulacas. So this is, they don't look their best in the night. Uh, the leaves are closed and shut down. During the day they all open up and they look beautiful. I have some assorted succulent pot, pots here as well. So you have um, one assorted succulent pot here, the next one here, okay, which has more of the HF areas. I have a Gigantia here as well. There is um, this fishbone cactus here and a few other HF areas um, and other succulent varieties. Okay, The third assorted pot is here. Okay, So apart from this, on the railing I have some edaniums. Uh, these are two primary varieties. So if you can see this, there's one ar Arabicum here and this one is an Arabicum as well which is uh, called Socotranum. Uh, these lovely obesums are blooming. These are grafted plants. These are grafted obesums. My arrangement changes by season. Typically in summer I prefer to uh, keep my edaniums here because they do require that sun and this balcony does get more sun than the other balcony so that's why I prefer to keep uh, these uh, edaniums here so that's my edanium collection I have a few more that I have kept down here as well uh, these are more uh, larger in size right so there's this one here again which is blooming and then similarly there's one pot at the back there's one here as well which is developing new leaves okay so that's the section now if you see uh, these sections or these uh, railing uh, baskets most of them have succulents and cacti so if you see here uh, there's an HF area there's some sempervivums here the Dudley are here uh, there are some uh, campfire uh, kind of succulents here etc also has have a blooming cactus I've done a separate video on this one okay some cactus here too okay this one is a rabbit foot fern probably we'll do a separate video on this this one is just here for a short while I'm going to take it in because it's a very sensitive fern and requires a lot of humidity Okay, so you can see more of these, your pencil cactus, the euphobias, the golem here, etc. A lot of sedums, the limifolia, the variegated one. Okay, you can see some lithops, castereas again, some agave here, more cacti, more lithops, etc. If I go down here, again similarly different kinds of assorted succulents. You f can find some astrophytums here, okay, and other cacti, including barrel cactus. Okay, this basket has more of the Hobartias. Okay, especially you can see all the zebra plants uh, and other Hobartias in there, including a 
nice clump of cooperi there more succulents here jade variety aeoniums you have the super bum you have the peacocky you have other uh, sedums in here similarly you have other agaves you have the cryptanthus calinco is there more haworthias and um, echeverias in here okay again more agaves as i said more adeniums and this is a jasmine you can see the buds on this this one is uh, called the dundu mallige or the one with the seven layers or walls of uh, flowers okay and you can see an adenium here too again an assorted basket with different kinds of succulents if you go up here you can see my hanging baskets this is the golden rat tail has a lot of buds on it similarly the monkey tail is also propagating quite a bit some of the rat tails are in bloom as well okay this one is your ruby necklace hanging succulents a sedum that's hanging more hanging succulents in there okay so you can see the hanging baskets i'm going to just show you scanner across so that's the barrow tail there uh, another stepelia family there which is blooming as well and these are all your graptovarias okay all right so this section is complete so this is primarily where my succulents and cacti are both in the hanging baskets in these railing baskets here and down here arranged according to the different types of succulents okay now moving on to the section i have a shelf of 5 you know on the top couple of shelves i have more of the aglonemas or the chinese evergreens uh, the colored ones are on right on the top versus the second shelf has more of the green and the uh, white and green ones the variegated ones which is the snow white variety i also have some hoyas here including the compacta that is the hindu rope as well as the kerii varieties of hoyas right so this third shelf here has uh, some bromeliads there are some pothos in here more aglonemas there are some different bakias there is the peru here and then the next one again has more hoyas it uh, i have a zenadu there there are uh, there's a birkin there etc uh, regular plants this one is your ledaborias and uh, dryomyopsis that pot is there uh, this keeps this arrangement keeps changing depending on which are the plants that are more shade loving so i keep moving things around a lot of times the cryptanthus is moved there and brought back or if any of the succulent baskets requires a little more shading when it's repotted it comes here etc so these my garden keeps kind of changing depending on the season depending on what i'm repotting okay now moving on to this one this is more of uh, again there there are two vertical stands which have about 14 uh, round stands like this to a to a center pole right so this was made to order and uh, this one has been very helpful for me so i have two of these so that makes it 28 pots in all and this is where i have my birds nest fern uh, there's a stag horn fern there i also have the neon uh, philodendron you can see the brazil at the back you can see the manjula as well as uh, the marble queen pothos there is um, uh, again a hoya this is the pubic calyx variety which ha which has a speckled uh, leaves here okay if you come down here again a hoya crimson queen and princess more hoyas at the back there's a zizi plant there this is your silver sword the adansonia here 
this uh, you you can see the skin dapsis here okay so you can see different plants similarly enjoy pothos here and then more of the crinkle leaf a bird's nest fern you can see the black pagoda plant here um and a lot of different plants so again a bird's nest fern, fern here this is a neon pothos so you can see a whole bunch of different plants here okay i also have right on top i have a few sansevierias okay or the snake plants similarly have some aglonemas at the back as well as the different bakias here uh, if you can see this one this is a philodendron again uh, i think it's called the crocodile philodendron because it looks like that okay so there are different kinds of plants which keep moving around depending on the season so if you see all in all i have all my succulents growing which are closer towards facing the outside world where the sun is a lot more and on these baskets a little it it still gets bright light and bright sun but um, they are not directly under sun this is where i have my uh, philodendrons birds nest ferns i have my hoyas in here i have my aglonemas etc okay i don't know if i showed you this this is uh, my pink lipstick plant this has grown quite a bit from last year this has been blooming quite a lot and it's uh, it's been throwing a lot of new leaves i had it hanging in the next uh, balcony but um, uh, it wasn't doing that well once i have moved it here now it's doing pretty well this is supposed to be uh, i i still have my doubts on this one whether it is a uh, hawaiian uh, purple hoya or some other variety we'll know only once it blooms so that's about it so i hope you enjoyed this video it's a, a little difficult to get all the plants in one go because this is as you can see a relatively crowded balcony um and uh, but i've tried to arrange them in such a way that it's easy to find them uh the intention of showing you the balcony is uh, for you to get some ideas of how you can arrange your plants so really depending on what kind of plants you have and whether they require direct sun or not you can actually if even if within a small balcony like this you can grow quite a few plants but what you require is the right kind of pots or like railing baskets like this you may require vertical garden setups like this or shelves uh, to be able to grow as many plants as possible and one of the things if you see here i use very small pots i don't use very big pots to grow my plants so the advantage of that is and especially if you have similar sized square pots like this especially for your succulents it becomes very easy for you to arrange them neatly and it looks good at the same time it saves a lot of space as well so these are some things that have worked for me in terms of watering this balcony doesn't get watered as often as that balcony does uh but having said that sometimes i might water only this section because this is where most of the green plants are and uh, the ones that require probably a little more watering so i would just maybe mist or use kind of a sprayer to water this section and may not water the succulent section that often once a week is typically my watering schedule for all my plants so that's how i normally water this balcony as well i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, i hope you liked uh, seeing this tour of the balcony okay thanks so much and uh, see you uh, in the next video bye